Where's my hat gone? Hello, okay. guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Start again. <laughs> Why do you need your hat on? Because I look a mess. <laughs> I think you look worse with your hat on in terms of a mess. But I mean, you can wear your hat if you like. Hello, guys. What up? Welcome back. Welcome to, to where, Flu Vlog. Where have we been? Flu Vlog day, Feb -vlog day, day 17. into Flu Vlog and we lost five days of it. Basically, if you can't tell by my voice, I got really ill. After the last time I saw you guys, which was in New York and I was feeling rubbish, I arrived home and had flu and was out for four days. I tried my best. It was best like to torture. For four days. <laughs> Mike tried really hard not to catch it. And unfortunately, on Valentine's Day, I let her give me one kiss. <laughs> and look what happened to me. <laughs> I spent last night in a swimming pool, <coughs> otherwise known as my I, bed. I, I genuinely. I was sweating in a feverish way so much. I don't think I've ever sweated that much. I thought you had wet the bed. That's very kind. Like. The bed. <laughs> Disgusting. Maybe Libby's here as well. In case you're wondering who's laughing. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I secretly went I to bed. Honestly, and I was like, oh, I'm sweating really bad. I, like, I reached over, like in the middle of the night, and was like, oh, "There's like, it's wet. The bed is wet." I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, Mike has wet the bed. I think it's going to be a divorce. This is bad." That's seriously, that's, that's seriously that <laughs> and one. then I touched him, and you, you were like, so. I was like a. I would say I was close to boiling point. And then about an hour later, woke up close to freezing point, and then back to morning point. I'm a bit snottier today, but not too bad. Nice, thanks Lovely. for the snot update. Mm, snotty. So um, anyway, but yeah. today's vlog, we're starting it in the evening, because we're it's going to be- We're starting and finishing in the evening. We're evening. starting and finishing. This is going to be a one take vlog, basically, because it's kind of like an announcement. When I'm involved, things just happen one take. It's just a lot of chat when you're involved, isn't it? Always? Oh, jeez. It's just 10 minutes of chat. Um, basically, we've been planning something very exciting, and we can finally tell you. We are actually meant to tell you earlier in the week, but because but I was because ill. Because someone was on, you know, her flu bed. It didn't happen. But you guys might remember that in January, in my kind of like New Year's chat video that I did on my main channel, I mentioned doing a half marathon. Yes. Okay, guys. It is happening. It's officially happening. It's going to be called Run De Force. Hashtag Run De Force. Yeah, I think boy. that's going to be a good hashtag. Good hashtag. It's going to be happening on july the 2nd big news in northamptonshire we're going to have a small number of places open to you guys it's going to be a fairly like i think it's going to be about 50 people in total we're not entirely sure on exact numbers yet because there's obviously we'll some people we're going to try and get some friends to do it as well but in terms of subscribers doing it we're going to have a number of you guys which we're inviting you to apply if you want how do they apply I'm going to tell them that in a minute. Okay, just asking. So, half marathon. We want you guys to do it with us. I'm so unfit. As you can tell, we're like now we're very unhealthy. Like we should, we can't physically run. I mean, I've just seen a half mile. Bar of I think I, and when I, say, like, I would die. Not a little bar. So we have like a giant bar. April, May, June, July. What? So we have four months That's and a bit. Easy to do to train. Thing. For you, really. Like, you could run a half marathon easily. For me, this is hard. I need to get training. Well, I need to be to fair, for me, it's a stepping stone because I'm doing gear. my full marathon in September. So it's like my like build up. We don't care about your full marathon. We just care about Run to Force. But so, are you not explaining why? It's happening on why? the 2nd of July. Who, okay. How Run to We're Force doing is. it with Copperfield, my charity, uh, our charity, favourite charity, basically. Yes, that that I am an ambassador or a digital boob ambassador. I think I should uh, be an ambassador. Boob Ninja I think, I is my think... official title. I am for Copperfield. If you don't know who Copperfield are, basically, they are a breast cancer charity. Piglet's currently trying to jump on she the sofa. Right? She'll, come on, Piggy, come on. She'll come for no. a sec. They're a breast cancer charity who focus on demolishing, diminishing, or demolishing late detection of breast cancer, especially in young people. So yes. they're getting all of you guys to check your boobs. I've made a video about it before. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It involves me check jumping boobs. around in a boob balaclava. Um, Has Piggy checked her boobs? Piggy, have you checked your boobs today? Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, everybody Look how does. Cute she is. She has so many nipples. I wonder how, like, if she has to check each one. She's like, yeah, hey. you do, pig. Like and under the nipple. armpits as well, you know. She's like, no. So basically, we're doing it with them, and we're going to try and raise as much money as we possibly can for Copperfield because yeah. it's an awesome charity, it is. and that is what we're doing. So, if you want to do it, if you think you can do it, it's going to be on the second of July. We are going to be raising money. We, if you can't run it, definitely 
we're going to be asking you to donate if you can because that would be awesome and not yet we support. haven't set everything up in terms of donating yet we don't want to ask you yet we're not like campaigning yet we're asking you to join us at the moment yeah, if you're a come runner play. come and join us we're going to put a link below are we, are we doing it like so in a sense we're all running together or are we doing it who, who gets there the quickest i think it should be we all run together so but let's just face it possible. you are not good at that because whenever we go no. on a run you leave me behind. Well, that's because you're slow. Let me get through all the information that I need to get through before let's get into oh, an argument. Geez. Because I will argue with this about I will argue with you about this. Well, I'm having the argument right now. <coughs> I want it while you're coughing and you know. Anyway, so that is what is happening. If you want to run it, we're gonna put a link in the info bar below to head over to oh, like, right. that bit. <laughs> um to go to Copperfield's website where they have a page where you can sign up and you want to tell us why you want to do it. Or you'll have, have to tell us, up. yeah. You have to tell us why you want to do it, um, how you're gonna raise the money, all of that good stuff. And once all of the applications are in, which you have till the end of the month to apply, it was gonna be sooner, but because everything's been pushed back. End of the month, you have to apply and then we're gonna do it all together. We're aiming for every person to be able to raise 500 pounds. That is the target. It's a good time. And we're going to get some cool sponsors involved if we can as well. So we're going to smash our fundraising targets and raise a shit One ton of money. One million dollars. Well, I mean, that would be great. But I don't think we're going to raise a million. Like, we can I, mean, try. I mean, we could try. That would be a great It'd That be would be a epic, target. I don't know if we'd reach it. <laughs> I think but Piggy will donate Piggy at least could a million. She's got a million dollars. A million, um, do million dollar doggy So business. yeah, that is our plan. I'm nervous and excited and pooping my pants. I think it's a good target to set target. you for your next well, my massive lungs, challenge. My lungs are starting off at like zero capacity from now at the announcement well, you've, day. You've diminished so, my lung capacity by giving me the cold. I'm Otherwise, be, I would have been fighting fit at this stage. We're going to be taking all of you along with us on, well, me really, because Mike's really fit anyway. Um, he's like <laughs> yeah, pretending. Obviously. He's like, clearly, look at him, he's so fit. Um, but I love this like live audience laughing coming from Libby on the other it's like side. I'm like, well. is it funny? Libby's laughing, so I'm guessing you guys Notice might be well. laughing. It's just laughing at all of my jokes. Not She's yours. laughing at Mike, <laughs> not with you, Mike, laughing at you. <laughs> Whatever. Laughing at you. So, I'm people want to see me. I'm, I'm fit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm poorly supporting. I'm trying to remember if I've got all the information that everybody needs. If I'm missing any other information, it's going to be in the info bar below. Please, guys, come and run with us. I'm going to be really bad, and I'll need people to be like, "Come on, Flo, you can, can do I it." Can I do like two laps? Yeah, I feel like quicker I feel than like, you can do one. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> We're gonna have. I'm probably gonna be last, okay? So I'm gonna need some motivation when I'm coming over the finish line. I'm gonna need all Ali, of you there. Ali's already like, said that she'll run with you so I can run a fast time. Yeah. And we're gonna do some really fun stuff around it as well. Basically, have a big fat party afterwards. Or will, will you make <laughs> and me. And drink loads will, of gin and tonics. Will you make summer. me dress up in a silly outfit so I'm a lot slower? You're gonna be dressed as a boob. I'm just throwing it over there. Have you seen the boob outfit? I have, but that's not going to be easy to run in. Yeah, people run marathons in. Yes, but I want to actually run People run whole marathons I want to set myself a target and die and beat it. Sure, pal. Anyway, hashtag run to force. Come and join us. Give me the hashtag. 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 Hashtag run to force. I'm going to go blow my nose now. You'd like a tissue. There's one more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Normal daily vlogging will commence tomorrow. I'm still Sorry Ill. for the interruption. I'm yeah, still but Ill. I'm you still don't my, have to do the vlogs and edit them, do you? No. So not my problem. Yeah. Hashtag um, run force. So basically, you can just shut up. You can get out now. <laughs> so basically, normal programming will resume tomorrow. I'm sorry I missed basically a week, but I was really ill, and Such all you would have seen would logger. have been like, nah. She's like a not even with Mike, it could just be me on my own. Like, I feel so ill. Just hear a snoring. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. No. It would, I mean, it would have been insightful, but probably not worthwhile. I don't think it would have been insightful or worthwhile. I think it would have been insightful because you would have got to see. What happens when you get ill, which is basically you go... I uh, slept a lot, uh, and I watched the whole first... Well, almost the whole first season of Girls. I watched... I got in trouble 13 with 13 episodes of Vampire Diaries, and the whole of Westworld. I, I learned something that you introduced me to Girls. It's actually quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really actually watched it, but... I I was gonna say, Mike watched like half of one no, episode. No, I watched it last night, you Mike had it on. Mike did not get into the extreme sex scenes. No, I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> didn't know that existed. Mike's like, girls is actually really interesting. I'm like, 
Maybe not really interesting, but <laughs> it's like hilarious. I mean, slash. It's got the dude from Star Wars like in it. Like serious at the same time. It does have the dude from Star Wars. Kylo Ren. In it. Don't There's know if some that's interesting sex scenes with him in it. Oh really? Yeah. Didn't see any of those. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Mike. I saw him like, peeing Mike on her in the way, shower. Mike is. Yeah. That happened last night. Yes, that did happen. Which was quite funny. I think. Quite weird. I think Mike would be shocked by a lot of the stuff that happens. You're like way like you're like oh my goodness that's that's terribly rude. Can I just point out one thing? What? That right now I love how you've responded to my natural uh, Instagramming style pose of going under chin shot of me. Yeah. Basically, Mike takes all his photos like this. Look at the nostrils. Good. Yeah, there's a nice bogeys up there. There's no bogeys. Right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We're actually going, going now. Are you Bye. sure we're going? Yeah. Do we have to go? Run to force. Come Hashtag run. run to force. Hashtag Come run really run quick. Run to force. Leave her Come behind. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run.